Oh, Fractal, why do you do this to me? This is the Meshify C. It's a compact case, it's no nonsense, it's great airflow because, well, the entire thing is mesh, as the name suggests. The problem is, I've got my 2070 Super in here with my 3950X from AMD, and I've also got a Corsair cooler mounted in the front. I have zero millimeters of clearance between the GPU and the Corsair cooler. But this works great for cooling because it brings in a lot of air, it's exhausted at the top and the back. I just wish there was a little bit more breathing room. And then we've got the Fractal Define 7, which also, it's a good case in its own right. It's modular. I've done reviews on both of these. This one a while ago when it came out and the Define 7 recently, you know, you can replace the top with the perforated top and get a little bit more airflow. But look, it's cavernous on the inside. I mean, I need something that'll handle, you know, a big Threadripper build, but I'm wasting a ton of space in the front because I'm not really gonna, you know, move this around and then have the three and a half inch bays. Only there was something in the middle. Oh no, the Fractal Fairy came. Define 7 Compact. What? So apparently Fractal heard my wish. I should have wished for a Lamborghini. <laughs> oh yes, that is a Serpinski triangle animated with WebGL in the background. That's the joke. Our case here is the Define 7 Compact. It's black with the light tinted glass. Side by side with the mesh if I see, you can see, I hope, that there's a little bit more room to work on the inside. It's not quite as tight quarters as the mesh if I see, and yet we've got all this room for breathability and uh, a nearly mesh top. Optional. Uh, Threadripper, this is a little too much for a mesh if I see to turning it into a hot box. Now being a Define 7, it's the standard accessories you'd expect from Fractal. It's got a nice sound dampened panel. I'm sure this case is gonna be available in a dual sound dampened panel. This is nice, heavy material, heavy sound absorbing material. That's a, that's a solid panel. We also have plenty of cable management, brackets, clips, ties, and all manner of everything in between because you can be as anal retentive with your cabling as you would like. Yay, Fractal! So I've done a mock-up here so you can see with my old school GTX 980 and uh, my Threadripper 2950. This is with the Gigabyte Designator. And you can see that in the front, because they've rearranged things a little bit and changed how the physical, like the front cover mounts on the system, they've moved the fans forward a few millimeters. So with our oversized GPUs, like the Aorus 2070 Super, and you know, the Founders Edition cards, they're, I mean, they're, they're standard size basically, but the Mesh Fossey is like size for them and the Aorus is just a little bit longer, but we can put the extra, extra, extra huge graphics cards in the compact Define 7, right? Well, I've got the MSI RTX 2070 Super. It's an even bigger card because of the shroud and the heat pipes at the end. Bad news. It won't work if you have a radiator in the front. It'll work fine if you just have fans in the front, but with a radiator, it will not work. And if you might've noticed, there's a few blades missing from the fan. I've got a replacement fan. I just haven't put it in yet. That's from my fingers. I almost lost a fingernail. But, you know, again, there's always the Define 7. You can always go up to the Define 7 and be completely fine for even GPUs like this. And whatever custom loop you might want to throw at it and blah, blah, blah. Although if you consider the Define 7, consider the Define 7 XL with my wheels mod because I really like the wheels. I like, I, it's just, I'm actually probably going to get another Define 7 XL for the office just to have two Threadripper systems on wheels because Threadripper's a dream. The specs on this case, are ATX. And of course you can do micro ATX and ITX in this build, but it's strictly speaking, just ATX. EATX and XL ATX are right out. It does have a little bit of room in the front, as you can see, so you might be able to get away with an extended ATX motherboard, depending on the motherboard, depending on how extended it is, because extended doesn't necessarily mean extended. In this case, we're using a Gigabyte Designator, which is basically a standard ATX Threadripper motherboard. There are some other Threadripper boards I've tried in here that do seem to work, but I'm just gonna say ATX. Stick with the specification that the case offers, and if you need more, upgrade to a larger case. For the top, 
Officially, the only thing supported is a 240 millimeter radiator, and that's mostly down to motherboard clearance issues. So for a 280 millimeter radiator or a 360 millimeter radiator, not at the top. You're gonna have to upgrade to a larger case or put that 360 millimeter radiator in the front. If you put the 360 millimeter radiator in the front, then you're gonna lose some of your GPU clearance. So you'll be down to about 305 millimeters, about 300 millimeters, say, to be safe. So if you're gonna use an extra large, super awesome graphics card, like this MSI 2070 Super. But this card is amazing, but this is a compact case. It's not gonna mix well. However, I've got the Gigabyte RTX 2070 Super over here, which is another good RTX graphics card, and it's really too big for the Meshify seat. But I jammed it in there, and it is rubbing up against my uh, radiator in this case. So not an ideal situation in terms of, uh, you know, the graphics card actually rubbing against the radiator. Definitely not good. But in this case, I've got several millimeters more clearance. And that's really an accomplishment because, you know, if we look at the top of the case between the Meshify C, the Meshify C is basically the same width as this case. They just rearranged the internals to be a little bit more efficient. It still draws a lot of air in from the front, from the side vents, those are dust filtered. I've got the optional top exhaust for fans, that kind of thing. So if I want to do a top exhaust radiator, I'm pretty much relegated to a larger case unless 240 millimeters is sufficient for my cooling needs. But if I'm doing a nice build, that's probably not the case. Now, if you are contemplating a build with all the options, check out the Define 7 build guide that Fractal offers. You don't have to listen to bozos on the internet. Fractal actually has pretty much every possible combination of 280 millimeter radiators and 240 millimeter radiators and 360 millimeter radiators right in the manual. So if you're planning your build, check the manual because there's probably a layout guide for how you can do the build with the components that you wanna use. Overall, just doing our mock-up build here against our Meshify C, I do like a compact case. I don't want a case to be bigger than it needs to be, but I also don't want a hot box. And you can tell that Fractal's incorporated a lot of lessons learned from cases like the Meshify C. The Meshify C is great for cooling because the entire thing is a mesh. This is not a mesh. It's got to bring in air from the sides and probably a mesh version of this case is going to be even better at cooling because you can pop the front off and, and get a lot more airflow through the system. It doesn't open, there's no five and a quarter inch bays. It is nice that it's got two, three and a half inch bays in the bottom, but again, you can pop that out, you know, install a, uh, a radiator uh, or install a, a radiator and a, for a custom loop and a pump and a reservoir and have that sort of sticking out the, the bottom here a little bit and then have your GPU come all the way across the top. You can fit a lot of things in here. There's a lot of options. It's got great cable management. It doesn't have a fan hub or anything like that. We've got a combination of USB 2.0 and 3.0 ports on the top as well as USB-C, headphone and microphone, reset and power. So it's that same fractal build quality that we're used to. No compromises in terms of build quality, efficiency, any of that. But yeah, it's available now The Define aesthetic is now available in a compact form factor and I probably can print some wheels for it too but yes there's a whole family of cases here good job fractal I'm Wendell this is level one this has been a quick look at the Define 7 compact I'm signing out and I'll see you later our build here or crap our case here is the uh, dark Usually light tint. Our build here, our case here is the